So I was recently reading uh, the Luajit website and I was looking at the FFI portion and it had a couple programs in there to show the difference between normal Lua code and then replacing some of it with using FFI uh, data structures. And so uh, I wanted to kind of try this out because like the benchmarks that they had were just kind of old, like the numbers for the results. And I wanted to see how it worked on my computer. And so this is the first program. And essentially what it is, is it's just, it creates this 400 by 400 pixel image, right? So 16,000, uh, was it 1,600, 16,000 pixels. And then uh, it has uh, up here at the top function, it creates uh, uh, this image that is green, right? So it creates a ramp, it gets more green with each pixel that, ha that goes along. Uh, and then we have uh, a function here that turns this green image into a gray image, right? So it just kind of averages out the, the, the values of the different pixels and sets all the parts of the pixel, the red, green, and blue components to be uh, the same value. Right. And then here at the bottom, you know, we call this create green image and then we uh, then we turn it to gray a thousand times. Right. Just to give it some work to do. So it actually takes some time. The second version of this is interesting because it just creates uh, it's almost identical. But at the top here, we require FFI and then we create this uh, data structure. Uh, called RGBA pixel that creates a C data structure that we can use. And then of course, when we create this image, instead of creating a Lua table that has an array for these things, we just create an RGB pixel array. And uh, so we're basically using two F this, uh, FFI data structures here, two C data structures. We have a C array that is a packed array of these RGBA pixel uh, structures. And then we just use them like normal, right? We have to remember that C arrays start at zero instead of one. And so we have to make some minor modifications for this, but essentially everything else is the same. Uh, okay, so now uh, that we have this, I need to show you my computer. So this is my computer that I tested it on. Uh, none of this really matters except uh, for the CPU. So the CPU is a Ryzen 7 7800X3D running at five gigahertz. And also for this benchmark, I restart. Um, I restarted my computer, so that way the only programs that I ran the first thing was uh, these benchmark programs. So that way nothing else would be running. Uh, and then I took this picture later. Uh, okay, so I ran the regular Luigit code, the first code that I showed you, and I got 0.448 seconds. That's great. Luigit, you know, has a has a reputation for being fast, but there's really no way for me to know if this is fast or not because there's nothing to compare it to. So I ran the second program with the FFI and it was around twice as fast at 0.223 seconds. So now we start getting some information and we can actually chart this. And so you can see we've got the Luigi FFI, which is the fastest. And then we've got regular Luigi code or regular Lua code, um, which is uh, around twice as slow. So after this, I decided to try out a couple other dynamic languages because there's a, uh, this is great information, but it doesn't really tell us, uh, you know, should I use LuaJIT versus some other programming language? So I decided to try uh, JavaScript, right? We'll use Node.js uh, JavaScript because that is uh, one of the most powerful, well, one of the most popular languages in the entire planet. JavaScript is everywhere. So I created a JavaScript implementation, and if you look at this, it's essentially identical um, in the work that it does. Uh, the only little syntactic difference is this with statement. So I created this with statement, and what that does is it prevents it from optimizing away some of these things. When I first wrote this program and I ran it, it took essentially zero time. And I knew that there had to be something wrong, and I, I tried some experiments and found that it was just deleting all the code. It, it deleted all the code because it didn't have, it didn't do anything, right? There's no side effect. There's no output. So it was like, hey, there's no output. I guess I don't have to do this. And of course, that defeats the whole purpose of the benchmark. So I put this in here. And I got 0.344 seconds. So now we can put this in our chart and we see that Node.js uh, falls in between the uh, Luigi FFI and regular Luigi uh, code implementation. So this is great. Now we're, we're starting to get kind of a feel for how fast this thing is. The next language I wanted to try was Python. So I created a Python implementation and uh, ran that. 
and I got 28.827 seconds. So, uh, and notice I didn't use any special like uh, Python libraries, right? Pandas and all this stuff is kind of C code underneath. I didn't want to have any C code. I just wanted to see what does plain Python do. And Python is really slow. If you're just using regular Python, you're, you're kind of screwed if you want to do things fast because it's around 100 times slower than basically everything else here, right? 100 times slower than the LuaJet FFI, right? Maybe 50 times slower than the regular LuaJet. Uh, so yeah, so because that, uh, because Python is such an outlier, because it takes so much time to do this, I decided to remove it from the charts. So the future charts just won't have Python because it's not even worth looking at. Uh, the next thing I decided to try uh, was C. I figured, okay, we, we've got all of this. Let's just try something that should be super, super fast. Let's try C. So I wrote a C implementation and you can see I actually used the exact same data structure that was used back in the Luigi FFI. We've got this RGBA pixel that use, uses uint 8 T's, right? So basically a single byte for each of these things. And then, uh, of course, the exact same kind of array that Luigi FFI used. All right, and so all of this does the exact same work. And the result I got from Klein at the O3 optimization was 0.252 seconds. Uh, I tried both O2 and O3 optimization flags. This was the best for Klein. I also decided to try GCC. And uh, it was actually slightly faster at 2.47 seconds uh, using the O2 optimization flag. O3 ended up being slower. Not exactly sure why something with the optimizations made it a little bit slower, but this was the best result. And I ran both of these results multiple times, really wasn't able to get any faster than these times. So these are kind of the fastest times I reported. Uh, if we put that into our chart, we get an astonishing result that Luigit plus FFI was actually the fastest, uh, not by a lot, but by uh, a measurable chunk. Um, and of course, uh, uh, GCC, Clane, and then Node.js, and then finally Luigit. And then of course, at the very end would be Python, which would be way up above this, uh, above this line. But this is astonishing to me. This is like ridiculously fast. This is wicked fast. This is fast beyond uh, reason, actually. Like, there's got to be something wrong. It makes me think that probably um, even the, even the Node.js outputs for this seem really fast. It it seems to me that these um, that these implementations of this of this little benchmark are actually just optimizing certain pieces of work away. Um, that's, that's kind of my best guess is that they, these must be optimizing work away. So my, uh, idea for this is, uh, I, I want to try other programs, other programs, real programs that do actual work. But there's one other thing I did is I normalize these results. So, uh, what this does is it sets the time that Luigit took to be one. All right. And so any, any other times are some multiple of that value, right? So if you were faster, it would be less than one. Uh, if you were slower, it would be more than one. So you can see we've got Luigit at one or Luigit FFI at one, and then GCC, uh, 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 Clang, uh, Node.js, and regular Luigit implementation. So uh, you can see Luigi, regular Luigit at 2x, um, and these others uh, just um, a little bit slower. Um, now, is it, is it, you know, significant? Well, I mean, it, it actually does seem significant because if we look at the numbers, we see that GCC was actually 10% slower. Clang was 13% slower. Node.js 54% and Luigi at 100% slower. Now, what's astonishing to me about this is that... Uh, like Luigit, Node.js, and uh, the regular Luigit implementation, they're all reading text. Like the input to this is just a text file that has the code in it. And it has to be lexed, tokenized, parsed, uh, and then uh, turned into bytecode. The bytecode has to be jitted. So this is why I think there's there's got to be something wrong. There's something that's probably being optimized away because how how is it possible for Luigit FFI to actually be faster than C when it has to read a text file 
and parse it. So uh, either way, even even so, this is this is really impressive. This this warrants further inspection uh, because uh, you know even even if this is kind of a false thing and and uh, you know it, it it really should be slower. This shows that Lujic is like ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And and to give you my expectations, I expect a jitted language to be between two and ten times slower than a C with optimi optimization flags put in place, right? And no special optimizations like SIMD or multi-threading or anything like that. Just single core, average program compiled with C and a jitted uh, language with just running a single thread, I expect to be two to 10 times slower, right? You may get a little bit faster for some problems, uh, slower for others, but that's kind of the range I'm expecting. So the output that I got, for, even for Node.js, is faster than what I expect, right? I don't expect Node.js to be within 54% of like C, right? So I guess one, it seems like Luigi is ridiculously fast, but two, this does warrant further inspection. And so that's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try to, con to, uh, to maybe come up with some real, uh, program or real in the sense that it actually has to prove that it does work, that you cannot skip the work that's done. Uh, and that's, that's basically it until next time.